Hey, Orange One here. So we are right where we left off last episode. We got our coil gun, and we got um, a decent number of zombies just over here to our side. We just gotta be kind of careful because we are pretty badly hurt, and there is a skeletal shocker there, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be very painful for us to try and deal with. So, yeah. Um, I think essentially what I'm gonna do is try and just hang back. It looks like a number of them are heading this way anyways. And yeah, we'll just kind of be a little bit more cautious seeing how we're also hurt pretty badly right now. And realistically I should be using my melee weapon here, but this is fine. He impaled my torso, but I'm actually so badly hurt right now that I didn't really even notice. Come on, take this guy out. Come on. There we go. Grabber's down. Can I smash that? Okay, the other smoke thing is coming towards us. Um... That is interesting. Can I actually go up then and try and avoid it? Looks like we can avoid whatever's in the smoke. I kind of want to try throwing a grenade in there to try and take it out. I'm looking here. That's pulped. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking engaging that group that's out there right now is not a good idea, honestly. And we could try just running over the the incubus or whatever it was called. That is also an option for us. I think, at the very least, let's just fall back a little bit. Okay, don't open that. Open this. Yeah. I just kind of want to take a minute, collect my thoughts, and figure out what I want to do from here. Okay, so we do have a number of injuries. Definitely want to disinfect them and bandage them if possible. I think we should just kind of heal up. There's not really much point in it, in pushing right now too hard. It's got to take us a while to get to the doctor's office if we're going through. Um, but I do think I kind of want to do that. Maybe we'll drive the car over there once we're a little bit more healed up, you know? And also, I don't know if we used up all of our rails. I think we did use up a lot of our rails. Um, can I take six bandages? Um, don't put them on the ground, please. Yeah, I think I, I was pretty excited to record this because, honestly, there's going to be a fair amount of fighting that we're going to have to do. And once we get the... Uh, the CBM that lets us just repair ourselves. Once we get that installed, if it's a successful install, man, we're gonna be very powerful. Even if that isn't a successful um, operation, I think that we'll be we'll be doing just fine. Okay, I think that that's every all of the body parts. Could I reload that? Just the uh, the ones there in my inventory. All right, we are healing a little bit. And this is where I'm not sure what exactly I want to do. <laughs> I kind of want to fight my way a little bit further in. Maybe heal up a little bit first, though. Can we read at all? Yeah, we can do a little bit of reading. What if I'm back here? What books do I have back here? Yeah, we should probably do that cooking. What was that? Uh, trapping. Yeah, it's good for the cooking nine. Uh, it looks like it's going to take 36 minutes. So, I'm not sure why. Oh, hold on. Oh, well, I think we can ignore the incubus thing. Doesn't seem like it's charging us. Oh, look, our limb healed up a little bit more. 
We did learn a little bit about cooking. Oh wait, our butterfly is just on the ground here? That's weird. That's super weird. Just want to check, uh... What else is around us? Okay, there's nothing here, there. Okay. I think... Just want to make sure there's nothing else. <clears throat> like, the butterfly that's on the ground there. Kind of crazy. Um... Can I wield that? Oh, actually our clothes are also kind of busted up, so maybe we could fix that up a little bit. If I look at that, if I... Um... Hold on. Can I... Reload? No. What if I... Yeah, we've got our broadhead in there, as well as our steel rail. How many rails am I carrying on me? Only one. Yeah, we probably want, like... I don't know. Like, at least three. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's take all of those. We'll take all of those, and then if we need to use it, we'll use it, you know? I think... Given our items, I'm pretty confident in our abilities to handle ourselves. I do need to get rid of this holster, seeing how we can't even, um... Put a gun in it. It's, it's honestly a waste of space. Can I take that off? Yep. Oh, also I need to repair the survivor harness. Is that reaver? That reaver's not coming towards me, so I'm just going to take a second to do that. Because we are kind of beat up right now. And as you can see, we've got tons of rails, so there's no real point in not using it. I figure that we could do that instead of using our military rounds. Though we do have... Um, looking at that, actually, we've got tons of military rounds still in ammo belts. I don't, I don't see why I've been so overly cautious. Is that really the right ammo? I just want to make sure... Yeah, it is. It's the... Pretty sure it's the right type. Okay, well. Let's take the one that's, uh. for southeast, maybe? Where is it? Here we go. There, there's actually uh, an insane amount of it right there. So, can I take that and unload it? Yep. And we'll take all those bullets here and just put that in the vehicle here. Uh, never mind. Pick it up and put it here. Nope, never mind. Oh, well, actually, it got most of them. Probably honestly hold on to the rest of it, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we got tons of bullets. I might actually use our gun gun if. That's the case. Um, before we do that, put the book down. And these things as well. Don't really need that. I will keep the nails though. We'll use the coil gun. I think just a... Uh, I don't know. Kind of want to... Just use our military rifle. It's just so much faster. It is just insanely fast to use these uh, to clear out the zombies. Come on, Reaver. If I really do have like... Because I thought I only had 1,000, but if I really have like two or 3,000, let's do it. We'll continue uh, with our little rampage here. Is that... The, yeah, the Incubus is coming. I'm going to run it over. I'm done trying to deal with that. Uh, where is it right now? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, well, that's one of them. There might be multiples, actually. Can I drive through the smoke? Yep, there's uh, nothing in there right now. Uh, let's just turn it around then, and we'll try and do another pass through the smoke, and hopefully we'll hit the the thing. Come 
come on. Gotta be out here somewhere, right? No? Where is it? Okay, well, we just destroyed all that splintered wood. Kind of interesting. Uh, okay, I don't really know what to do there. I thought that we would hit it, but I am not seeing it. I think it went inside that building. It's a shame. Well, I just kind of need to be careful because that thing could catch me on fire, which could lead to a lot of pain, which could lead to our death, essentially. I think we can work past it, though. Our gun... Did I end up picking... I, I picked it up, so I'm going to take that off of the notes. Because, yeah. We actually have that gun on us right now. Hold up. Yeah, I'm just going to, I think, charge in and, and kill this group of zombies with my gun. Like I was saying, we got so many bullets. Um... Yeah, we'll go kind of down though first so that we're not like right by the Incius. Okay, let's stop um, moving the vehicle. Turn off the aisle lights. I don't know why those are on. And then we'll stop driving. And then can I actually close my windows? Yeah, because I just don't want our, our friend here getting too much... Uh, much attention. Okay, so... We'll just bop them. With this gun. We got the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Where's the... The shocker? Yeah, where was he? Skeletal shocker. Can I hit them and just take them out from a distance? There we go. Okay, he's down. Where is that nadir? Yeah. Take out the nadir. The other ones, I'm not so concerned about. Um, gonna make me step into sludge. Nah, we're not gonna step into sludge. Um, should I switch out for the coil gun? Sure, let's do it. Yeah, and we can get the precise aim. So I'm, um, and we have the power. It will take us a little bit longer. Kill enemies, but honestly, I just wanted to do it. <laughs> uh, that group is getting pretty big though. That's right by us. Can I just drop the coil gun? Yeah. Oh look, there's a pregnant giant cockroach. Am I hallucinating that? Um, I don't think I am. Well, we're gonna want to kill that then, if that's the case. If it's not, we're just gonna shoot our car. Have a bummer, but... Okay, it's actually real. Okay, that thing's fleeing. Can I start hitting these guys then? Yeah. Um, oh, are we wearing our gas mask right now? It looks like we are, so I think that that thing exploding is going to explode pretty soon. The putrid zombie, that's fine. Okay, uh, you're starting to get grabbed by them. I think to break line of sight, I'm going to hit the this one. Nope, we're not even going to be able to get shot off by the looks of it. Oh man, this is gonna be annoying I'm trying to shoot right now. So let's go ahead, let's get this on and try and run away. I think we can get enough distance between us and them, and even if we can get some acid between us and them. Good. Okay. I'm going to try taking off the gas mask because I didn't realize that I was wearing that. Whoops. Okay, Nadir, you need to go down. And then we got the... 
a weaker version of these guys right here. I hate these dudes so much. They're so annoying. We need to pick up our magazine. I need to remember that. I know I'm going to forget. But it's okay. I don't know why you were trying to shoot the one that was a little bit further away there, but don't you worry. I got us. Um, stop running. Maybe walk a little bit. Yeah, we got enough enough rounds where I'm not too worried. Uh, we do have a devourer right there. Making me a little nervous. If that thing's down... The Incus, I'm not sure. Wait, did that thing grow from the nymph to that already? Um, I don't want to get caught on fire and that thing's going to catch me on fire. So let's get out of the way and hopefully it doesn't hear us or see us. Um, I think we're okay. Maybe stop running. Yeah. I think we're good. I think we just put, yeah, our gun that really should be strapped on our back. Did I see the... I thought I saw the Ickus there for a minute, but it looks like I didn't. I'm not seeing it anymore. I did. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Oh, there's actually a couple zombies right there. Oh, you want... Why don't we go ahead and get the Jane out? Um, and... Yeah, we'll have to make sure that we pick up our gun. Close that door. Hello, Zombles. I think we can take these guys on, even with our kind of hurt stamina. Not too worried about that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, loop around this side of the car. It sounds to me like it's behind us. I'm just gonna back up. Looks like we missed it by the sounds of things. I think it's to our right. Can I um, please hit this? I think we just hit it. I'm not sure. Okay, I think part of our problem is that I have my windows shut. We should open those up. There we go. And let's just turn the vehicle. I'm pretty sure that it's good now. We'll just wait a couple turns, see if the smoke dissipates. It looks to me like it is. Okay, cool. Well then, just wait a minute, catch your breath. And let's have a look at these corpses. Oh, you're... How are you healing? I'm... I haven't looked at that in a while. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. It's crazy to me how low his head health is. And I do need to get him a ranged weapon and, and use him. I invested all that mutagen. I might as well, right? Um, let's see. The corpse. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Oh, there's thin smoke right there. Man, it, the controls, how they shifted the uh, smashing, it keeps on messing with me. Uh, is the smoke not going away? It looks like the smoke is not going away, so we still need to run that thing over. Okay, well, we'll just smash a couple zombies and then we'll take care of that. Actually, sorry, you know what we're going to do first is we're going to reload... And we're going to... Why is my, my phone is talking to me right now? <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I'm pretty happy with things. Where's that juggernaut? Okay, to the right. And we could... There's that skeletal shocker. We could try and dissect that. 
somewhere around here. I probably am gonna run it over, knowing myself. Oh, my right hand's getting chilly. Huh. I thought that we had good cold coverage. Yeah, I'm not seeing the, the ichus there. I think we just went through all the smoke. I'm a little bit confused. Okay, not there. Get the juggernauts coming our way now. I think we did hit the Ickus, but for some reason the smoke's still there. Okay, let's just pull the juggernaut back a little bit. Close that and we'll get... Yeah. Just because I kind of want to cut my th way through here and... I'm just realizing that I could have destroyed our nice gun down there. Is that our coil gun? What is that? Oh, nope. Whatever is uh, in that smoke, it's still alive. That's our butterfly right there. Okay. Well, interesting to say the least. I'm gonna try and go like here. I definitely want to get our butterfly. And then I'm west, I hear crash. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're just like tripping out there. Oh, nope, there is a dissolved devourer here. So it was a good thing that we were listening, I suppose. That devourer's gonna come over here. Um, that's just. Or not the devourer, the Ickus. Now in front of the car somewhere. Um, let's go get our butterfly. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. where is. Where were we storing that? Why am I not seeing it? S for survivor harness. There we go. Okay. We do have that going for us. And we now know that the Ickus should be in front of the car, in theory. God, this is pretty insane though, the smoke thing. It's just getting a little bit irritated because I feel like I should have hit them like three or four times now. Did I get them? Okay, I think... I think we got them. Let's just kind of watch and reload. Oh, hold on, wrong button. Reload the gun, yep. I've got a feeling that we haven't killed it. Can I eat something? Here, have a little chocolate bar. I think you've earned it. And... While we're here, let's have a little power. Just to keep things up and going. We just do a couple more. Yeah. Just to make sure that we're as charged up as we possibly could be. Is the smoke... I feel like it's still alive. There's... No, it's gone. Yay! <laughs> that took a while. <laughs> um, but at least this area is clear. I think also a fair amount um, to our east should be empty now. We just need to make our way over to getting that the CVM installed slash getting our skills higher so that we've got a better chance of that install actually going correct. You know, it'd be really nice if there was like a an auto pulp um, man for your own character to be like, just pulp everything that won't give me CVMs, you know? 
But then I guess that kind of takes away from the whole um, vibe of the world. Uh, start running. Just get some distance between you and them. There we go. Not too bad at all. Really. Uh, we'll just smash all that. Yeah, I do want to start collecting these bullets, though. I just think that it's a good idea to have plenty of extras, you know? Yeah, keep on coming. I'm okay with you coming to me easier, you know? I think that there was some zombies already, like, out here in this field. Oh, what? Nail rifle magazine and adjustable stock. That's kind of strange that that's just sitting out there. Where's the coil gun? Did I destroy my coil gun? I think we destroyed the coil, coil gun. Really? Really? Are you kidding me? Hold up. Picked up the nail ri rifle magazine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the coil gun got sma coil gun gun got smashed there somehow in all the commotion. Well, we'll get the adjustable stock and we'll we'll make another one, I guess. That must have been what happened. Unless uh, I'm just being silly. Let's see if I'm being silly. No, I don't think I'm being silly. Okay. I'll take that out. Yeah, I'm going to need to make a new coil gun because I do think that that is important for our, um, our long-term fighting. I mean, to be fair, uh... I think we would be fine without it, with all the bullets that we have, but uh, I'm thinking more about what happens when we run out of these bullets. And also it's kind of nice being able to carry a, a, the coil gun with us, getting that like range, essentially free range. Um, go ahead and get the Jane out. If we can put it in our inventory, let's put it in our inventory. Just kind of wanted to take out these zombies, but figured we could get a little more melee experience. Okay, so that's all good. Yeah, I think that probably between this and the next episode, I'll I'll make another coil gun. You know, I'll, I'll take better care of it. I promise. I actually feel bad. Like, it's, I know it's, like, not even a sentient thing, but, like, I destroyed this, like, tool that we've used to kill so many zombies. And I feel, like, legit bad about it. We also need to dissect those uh, corpses and see what we get, so maybe we'll, we'll do that in the next episode. Or maybe I'll just do it in between episodes, because it takes a while to do the dissections. I'm not sure. I feel like... Sometimes I feel like people won't believe me. With the CPMs I got, because I got so lucky with that repair. Nanobots. CPM. RNG was favoring me, I guess, when then when I clicked those buttons. There's the skeletal shocker that's there, and the sh regular shocker. Those are the things that we're gonna want um, to dissect, so... I'll leave them unpulped. I've heard that that helps. Uh, what is that? It's just a Glock. Oh, is that another Devourer? Is it gonna come my way? I think it is, yeah. Cool. Okay, well... Go ahead and get this out. I almost got the, uh, the rail gun out. But I don't think it's really necessary. Where's that Devourer? Oh, there's actually a basement in here. Interesting. Hello, Devourer, where are you? 
was I hallucinating you? No, I don't think I was. Okay, yeah, let's uh go into this house. I'm pretty sure that there's a devourer in here somewhere. And I would like to check out that basement. Okay, I'm not seeing the devourer anymore. There you are. Oh, you're like right next to me. How am I doing on damage on it? Um, yeah, we're gonna want to back off a little bit and just shoot it more. They've grabbed me. Yeah, this is gonna be, by the looks of it, an annoying fight because I'm trying to get some distance between us and you're trying to clo close said distance. And keep on actually um, not really getting hurt. Okay, it should be coming out. Good shoot it. Again. There we go. Now the locals are aware of us. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this here. We got to make that coil gun. We got to take care of the corpses. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.